<laughs> it's bright and early in Lankavi and we are at the Seven Wells Waterfalls. We decided to beat the crowd and the heat and made it here before 9 a.m. We wanted to come here yesterday but realized that it was after 3 p.m. and it was probably very crowded so we left it till this morning. Seven Wells Waterfall, locally known as Telaga Tuju, is one of the most popular waterfalls in Lankavi. It is named so because there are seven pools located on different heights. To get to the very top, you need to climb over 600 steps, so it's quite a challenge, but we're up for it. but you definitely get rewarded with swimming in natural pools and having fun. Yay! <laughs> As much fun as it is, there are still some things to be aware of. First are the shoes. The rocks are very slippery, so make sure you have suitable footwear. Also, try to keep an eye on your belongings, as monkeys in this area love to snack stuff away. And last but not least, don't drop your things into the stream, like I did. Chasing and fishing for it may be a little bit of a challenge here. We got to the falls closer to 9 a.m. in the morning. It was nice and peaceful at that time, and pretty much only us and another couple. Closer to 11, more people kept arriving and it started to be way too crowded for our taste, so we decided to wrap it up and go back down to the village. We're standing in front of Umgava, the canopy and zipline tour company. For those who are seeking some thrill while they're in Lankavi, this is definitely the place to check out. The tour is two and a half hours with 12 ziplines, three sky bridges and one thrilling drop. It's 500 ringgit per person, but if you come in person to this place, they will give you a little discount of 50 ringgit. So it comes down to 450, 450 ringgit, which is about 100 $50 or so. Doing this tour plus the waterfall will definitely give you a full day of excitement. Okay. Seven Wild Waterfall was a really nice experience. We enjoyed it. It was definitely less challenging than we expected. This was pretty easy for us to accomplish. 
but it's still a nice place to walk around but definitely do it in the morning it's not worth going there anytime after I would say 11 a.m. Yep. it gets hot. way too hot and crowded and you don't want to be sitting in those small pools with a bunch of people around you now we're gonna jump back on our bikes and go to the hotel refresh a little grab some lunch and at 2 p.m. we're getting picked up by some tour company and we'll do an island hopping which should be very fun. Three islands, about four hours long. We're looking forward to it. Yeah, stay with us. For our lunch spot today, we chose this beautiful bar located right on the water and you can hear the waves crashing and you get such a nice breeze. I'm sipping on a freshly squeezed watermelon juice and our food just arrived. We got ourselves some good old beef burger and roasted beef sandwich. This place is called Cliff Mankavi and it has two parts to it. A bar that we're sitting at and it's pretty westernized, very modern and there's also a fine dining area which we'll show you later. Delicious.